another suit of armor. Oh, that's what's happening. They're taking away your friends. Yeah, that's that skeleton comes out when they die and just drags them into the mirror. <laughs> Time to go back! Okay. Well, shit. We lost Horus again. Welcome back to the haunted mansion of the last story. <laughs> we found our way in. Now we must find a way out. <laughs> Let's try through here. <laughs> oh! Well. <laughs> oh, shit! Yoink! <laughs> Dagrin's gone. He belongs to the house now. <laughs> Answer me! Call it, Zale. It's just a trap. Call it! He ain't gonna get done in that easy. Let's keep <laughs> going. <laughs> he says be careful, and he's the first to get done in. Okay. Master Dagwood. And then there this were four. Place really sends a shiver down my spine. We must hurry and find Horace's greatest treasure. Oh. His wife. Serious. Yurik doesn't like bats. Nobody here. Dagwood. If you're here, answer me! Well, right about now, neither does most of the world, but... I can't believe it's really happening. It's funny, because, like, I was creating a bat monster in my RPG, and it was going to have, like, a plague disease that it would give to the party, and then life happened, and I was like, nope. Let's bend that idea for a minute. Oh! Why, hello! What? What was his face? That's when you see death in the mirror. There's a girl I know. She's some real tight bitch. Damn it, Lowell. Damn it, Lowell. We're down. And now we're Where down to three. We're just going to Agatha I Christie this shit here. here. <laughs> Didn't I say that? Hmm. Can I Master shatter it? Sale, what's that mirror? You can check it. We already did the doppelganger, so. Hmm. Oh, hello. Aha, I didn't see that coming. The only thing I don't necessarily <laughs> like. Oh, God, it's a haunted house. It's a trickster, you idiot. Why would you slice me? Oh, my God. Do you know how often that actually happens in haunted houses? A lot. I'm sure it does. It reminds me of, um, that video of the guy that tries to scare the other one from the trash can and he punches him in the face uh, I used to work in a haunted house and like but I'm pretty sure like recently when I went to a haunted house they were like don't touch anyone yeah well <laughs> at the haunted house that I worked at I, I volunteered there for a few years mm -hmm. and um, like when I first started it was like please don't touch the actors mm -hmm. and that was that. As time went by, it became, you touch us, we touch you. Oh. So it's like, because our actors were, were actually getting, like, beat. Damn. And it's like, okay, don't do that. Don't touch them. Mm -hmm. Because they can't defend themselves. Mm -hmm. Then they got permission, like, listen, if they hit you, you have to defend yourself. Oh, shit. So... Could you imagine going to a haunted house and just accidentally flailing and like smack an actor and they just take the beat down like <laughs> all of a sudden the entire <laughs> fucking monster mash just piles <laughs> on you? Oh god! Enough with the bats! Dracula and his son dogpiled on Ren. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I could flip out the window. Goodbye, Eric. <laughs> Alas, sir, Yurik. We knew him well. Yep. Damn. Shut up, Horus. Great, I get left with Horus. Uh-oh. Uh oh, dead kid. It's little Warren! It's the ghost <laughs> of Warren! Well, shit. But I didn't push him off the balcony. It but wasn't you... me, I swear! But you thought about it. <laughs> I am the result of your darkest thoughts. <laughs> your deepest secrets. That would be a really interesting a book. horror game. Wonder what's written in it. Yeah? Out, so like where are you? Oh shit! 
I feel like I'm trying to like work through it in my head, but it's like where you have to make a decision. Mm -hmm. So like let little Warren die of his disease or push him off the balcony. Okay. And then you're forced to face the alternate of your consequence. Oh. So it's like if you let him die of disease, then like you would see him like falling off the balcony instead. Oh, okay. Interesting. Make note of that. I just think it'd be really cool. You know, that, I think that would be cool it would for need development. like a, a text adventure or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Similar to Parchment in a way. Or yeah. Maybe it could just be an element of Parchment where there's like a side quest of like a ghost. Maybe. And like the alternative happens. I don't know. We'll have to give that more thought. Yeah, I think it would just be like a cool horror yeah. element. The Diary of the Lady of the House. 10th of September. I am increasingly unable to understand what he is thinking. Even at meals, he is rude and makes no secret of his hostility towards the master. Is someone actually reading in the game? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. But it's okay. You can now read, children. <laughs> oh, I was just curious, because, like, normally with a text like that, there's voiceover work. I don't think Zale's reading this out loud. I think it's similar I to, like, when you read the books. I didn't know if it would be a ghostly woman. <laughs> She's pooping. <laughs> I'm leaving a spooky dookie. <laughs> Woof. And it just keeps going. Well, that was a lovely read and all, but I gotta find my friends. Yeah. <laughs> Sales like, well, I'll stop to read this diary here real quick. Guys. And then there was one. Hmm. Uh oh. Ah. This is not funny. Who does these things? That is not funny. The house is like, we think it's funny. <laughs> We think it's Just... hilarious. Ah. All these coffins. coffins. Lucky, Lucky me. I like how you do his voice in it with a British accent. Well, they're British. An English accent. Unlike other Robin Hoods, I can speak with an English accent. Unlike other JRPG protagonists, I speak with an English accent. <laughs> well, let's open them. Oh, that's where they are. My friends! Oh. How do you feel? Well, that's interesting. Not bad. Old so my friends have been- Oh, shit! Of course. Not my friend! There was a bomb in that one. That's the one she pooped in. There's Horace. Horace you're alive. Exploding poops. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> you're not Yorick! <laughs> you know. Dagrin, how long have you been in there, friend? <laughs> Come here. Oh, shit. Horace is already dead. Good thing you're in a graveyard. Put them right back in that coffin. All right, so what we got here? I think we just need two more. There's you're, Yurik, you're right. and you should be Dagrin. I'm cool. Fine. I like how they all backflip out of their sure. coffins. Oh, They're vampires. It's a pair of glasses. Th those belong to my wife. Oh no! Please, Master Sale. You have to save my dear, sweet Meredith. Meredith I know, just calm down. <laughs> we should head back inside. Meredith, All right, who wants to go back inside the creepy house? Just keep calm, Horace. We'll find her. Oh. Yeah? Oh, I get it. Each of the tombstones has our names on them. Oh shit! Seren's there, there too. She's not even. You know everybody. She's not even on this mission. Horace, 
Maranya. Dagrin. Well, whew, at least they don't have Callista on there. I know. <laughs> at least my beloved is safe. Uh-oh. I remember you. You were one of the earlier bosses. This isn't just another monster. This is a level 27 version of an earlier boss we fought previously. Yeah. So oh in that my. case, yes, it is another monster. Oh my gosh, it just made me think of the um, TikTok we watched the other day where the, the guy pretends to be dogs in oh different God. situations and it was the German Shepherd. Why do I hear boss music? Why do I hear boss music? Run. <laughs> <laughs> Cause he's like dressed in full on camo. Well, yeah, cause all of the, it's like what, how a dog behaves like if there's a robber mm -hmm. and you see the robber come in the house and it's like, oh yes, this house is perfect. And you see him like stealing stuff. And the whole time this guy, he like straps on his camo. He like puts on a bandana. He like puts the, the dark makeup under his mm -hmm. eyes. You see him like strap on like a, uh, a pretend gun. Yep. And, and then the robber's like, why do I hear boss music? And then it just shows the guy in like full full uniform mm -hmm. with weapon and he's just go, run. <laughs> and it's supposed to be like German shepherds <laughs> when somebody breaks into your house. Yep. <laughs> I like the beagle. Oh, shit. Our neighbor has better stuff. Let's go over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How's that attire? We get to keep the red, but we change the fabric. Hmm. Because I'm a bit chilly. I'm, I'm going to put a jacket on. <laughs> what is it, Zael? Follow the ghost huh? boy. <laughs> they can't see him. Because only Zael can see him. Hmm. This is the ghost of my childhood dreams. <laughs> Coming from the other side. Let us in, let us in. Let us out, let us out. <laughs> well, if there's a boss nearby, let's upgrade. <laughs> Horus is like, you and your upgrades. I should have never introduced you to this feature. <laughs> Every time, two steps. Hey, I need an upgrade. Save point, I need an upgrade. Boss battle, I need an upgrade. <laughs> what am I going to do with you, Master Zale? My poor wife. I bet she's the one behind the haunted mansion. That's your theory? Yeah. All right, then. You'll see. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> she's either behind the haunted mansion or, um, like, the queen the figure. You know how, like, bad guys always, like, kidnap a woman to, like, make her his queen. Oh, uh, okay. All right, then. A keyhole. Well, there's a keyhole, so now we got to find a key. Suddenly, we're one of those RPGs. If there's a lock, there must be a key. You haven't seen that one yet. Well, shit. That's a supernatural. Oh. Why another one? I know what it is. Uh-oh. These things just keep on coming. He's got backup this time. How long will this oh, all right. I've given up. Well, there went Horus. He just got sniped. Bruh. Horus dies an awful lot. Horus, you're dead again! I can't keep wasting the power of the outsider! Funny, Zale, it wasn't called- Oh, shit! He's like gone gone. Yeah, he's gone gone. What happened there? Um, alright. I'll bet he went back to the coffin. Maybe- Oh. In the okay, so in this chapter, I don't think anyone's allowed to die or they go back to the coffin. I gotta fish them back out. Stay with us, Lol. Your HP's pretty low as well. Ooh, we got him. Lol's like, I'm under leveled. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> Man eating mansion. Place gives me the creeps. Alrighty. Oh, not again. I've gotta get them back. I need to okay. check the yep. coffins back in the corner. I need to check the coffins. They might be trapped inside. Okay, so that's the gimmick of this chapter. So if you die, you go back to the coffins. Yep. 
Oh, oh. All of the coffins are closed. Easy camera. Up. They must be trapped inside. First try. Horus, you're alive. Horus, you're alive. Thank you. Thank I'll bet you. it's harder oh. the less members you have in the coffins. Because mm -hmm. it's probably like a one in five chance in the other four bombs. Yeah. Whew. So I think we got lucky there. It's because you had your oh, lucky charm. That's God fucking ow! <laughs> oh, I don't go back to a coffin? Cool. You were never in a coffin. Oh, good point. <laughs> you were never there. <laughs> <laughs> it was all an illusion. That's a twist. What a twist. Something shining under the wreckage. Something shining. Oh, there was a key here the whole time? Eh, we, we didn't see this when we rescued Yurik? Alright, I suppose everyone was a little too shook up. A key with an insignia. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Ghost armors. You have ghost armors and... Um... Uh, parchment. Castle. Parchment, yes. Yeah. I was going to say Castlevania? <laughs> I think. Wow, I designed the ghost armors. <laughs> well, they are also known as Gulahan. Because they have no heads. Or are these, do you think they're different from Dulahan? Um, one of, one of like the standard Dulahan... Um, like, things that show it's a dual hand mm -hmm. is having a horse. Oh, okay. Not necessarily riding a horse, but either being a horse-drawn carriage, riding a horse, um, having, like, a Is the dual steam. hand a headless soldier, like a guy, or is the dual hand, like, ghost armor? Like, armor that's animated through a spirit? Um, a headless, headless person. A headless person, yeah. okay. So the Dullahan is because these like, are just hollow armors possessed by spirits. That I think is a different kind of monster. Uh, okay. But a Dullahan is like is shown by having a horse, a headless rider, um, and a weapon that's either a sword or a whip. Oh yeah, a whip made of like a spine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Crap! I didn't make it. <laughs> I wanted to do Gale, and I ended up going right into the wall. Whoopsies. Crap. I gotta destroy these armors before they come to life. There we go. Because otherwise, when I destroy them, they'll just go back to another suit of armor. Oh, that's what's happening. They're taking away your friends. Yeah, that's that skeleton comes out when they die and just drags them into the mirror. <laughs> Time to go back! Okay. Well, shit. We lost Horus again. Come on, destroy that one. Ow! I'm on fire! Someone just pelted me with a fireball. Oh, Lord. Counting down? What's the countdown? Uh, I think that's till he, till he can cast his spell. Oh, okay. I think. You get away from them. All right, so there's two left. Come on. Ha ha, you slipped and fell. <laughs> and broke your nothing. Armor bone. I don't know. Armor joint. Your armor bone's connected no! to your boot bone. <laughs> they got lol. Lol. <laughs> no, not Dagrin 2. Let him go. That didn't count. Apparently you gotta like kill them, not just swipe at them a couple times. Alright, Yurik, let's finish this. Thank you. To get them back. All right, to back to the courtyard and the coffins. But we got the key this time. Yurik's like, I'm claustrophobic. I'm not getting back in that <laughs> coffin. Why won't it open? Oh, come on. I gotta go the other way. Well, come on, door. Oh, sure, maybe it's the door with uh, Yurik standing beside it. Eh. That makes sense. All, All right, let's up. see here. They must be trapped inside. 
Oh, horse. they're all going to be in the same coffins. Nice. Oh, really? Because there's Thank Lull. You. So now all we need is Dagrin. And Dagrin was... No! No, Dagrin is Ouch. in the last one. Not that one. No! <laughs> that one. Yes. There we go. They're going to be in the same coffins. Then. Okay, they're going to be in the same coffins. Well, that's good. That'd be really tricky if they shuffled them. Yeah. Whew. All righty. So now we got to go back to the room where we needed the key. Oh, come off it. Goddamn that. No. <laughs> oh, they like kill you real fast. Yeah. And you got to like shake the Wiimote. Or not the Wiimote, the, the control stick on the... On the oh, nunchuck. okay. You gotta like shake it back and forth. Yeah. No good. I can't open it. Horace? It's intuitive. You get to shake off the bat. <laughs> right. Leave this kind of thing to me. Cool. Put the candle back. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Okay. Well, that's his wife. Bound by something. Alright. So now we just gotta release her. He tried. Horace, what's wrong? Oh, that looks Ooh. pleasant. Nibirious. That? that looks cool. Is it a coffin? A skeleton? It's it's a oh, it's a vampire. Oh, okay. This is a vampire. Let's see here. Power strike? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I should do with this guy. Run away what like sissy little about? girls! <laughs> Come on! I'm an archaeologist. I've seen this None of my attacks were doing diddly squat, and Yurik took one for the team. Oh! How did he get through the door? But there should be a way to destroy him. How funny would that be if he's like, ah, yeah, guys? Hey, come back! <laughs> he's like, uh, folks, I, I, I can't fit. I can't. I don't can't seem to be able frame, to get so, through uh, the door. <laughs> So uh, let's resume this boss battle. Maybe we should offer it horse. I'm trying to remember. Just wait, please. Vampires must have a weakness, Horace. Come on, what's the weakness? You'd think it'd be light. It's silver. No, that's werewolves. Try again, Horace. Light? Silver arrow. Okay. Aha, there we go. Now he's vulnerable. Now he's running away. He runs away. Wait, come back. I had to turn sideways a little. That's cool. The little ghosts are like, here, you'll need silver <laughs> arrows to take down the evil vampire. He killed us 37 years ago. <laughs> this is kind of annoying. Get back here. He's like, don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm not shiny anymore. I do like that he has to dip down to get through the door. Oh, he's invulnerable. Oh, mm -hmm. he's back. Crap. Okay, so when he's gold, he's invulnerable. We can't do anything he to goes, him. He goes, my coat is shiny now. <laughs> when I shoot him with an arrow. He turns silver. Yep, he turns silver. And then he's vulnerable to our attack. And he runs away. Yep, and you just gotta chase him and slash him. Get back here, you coward! Yurik, the other way! <laughs> Yurik's like, I'm getting out of dodge. I know. It's Now's our chance. Oh, cool. Let him with him another arrow. Area arrow. If you hit him with another arrow, I <laughs> think he gets dazed for a little bit. <laughs> I, know that arrow. Oh, I like how I'm giving. Down. Well, no, because like, I'm giving commands, but everyone's in a different room. Oh. <laughs> Folks, let us meet together. There we go. And look, I got a flaming sword. He's on fire!
Come on, everybody. Chain attack. It's running. Now's our, running. Now's our chance. Come on. No, one at a time. <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> yeah. We got all fed. <laughs> Get crowded in the goddamn door frame. Daggerin, daggerin, daggerin. You <laughs> first. Daggerin. I'm sorry, my great metal leg's a bit bigger than I remember. <laughs> that is a nice detail. He just goes Ooh. <laughs> right through the door frame. Yeah, he has to like bend down. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's up a little tall. Uh, okay. Oh, he's then. oh wow. He dazes uh, your, you and your comrades if you get hit by that shockwave. Oh. And you get confused for a little bit. There you go. Yurik nailed him with the fireball. Yes, yes, Horus. Your wife is still alive. Now please, let's kill the vampire. Horus is like, I've upgraded your weapons and I had one request. <laughs> <laughs> you think he'd get Where are my stuck comrades? somewhere to like... That's what I was hoping. Maybe he can like slip. Nah, he's not going to slip. He hovers. I'd use ice floor and he'd just be like... Ugh. He'd be like, and that was your plan. Watch this. All right. Hit him with an arrow before he gets a chance. There we go. Chain attack. That's what I want. Oh, he's getting faster. No, please. Get back here so we can kill you. So, yeah, it's a cool design. It's a neat yeah. concept. It's, it's, it's it is a little, a little annoying, monotonous. Yeah. But it's just like you got to chase him to do damage. And then when he chases you, he's invulnerable. I feel like if there weren't so many hallways, maybe I can cut them off. <laughs> I know, like catch them on the other side. Yeah, let's try that. Maybe that's what I should have been doing. I'm gonna sneak up on you. Mm -hmm. Peekaboo, here I'm comes my sword. Sneak up on you. Son of a bitch. Crap, that was my last arrow. Run! Ow, ow, ow. Another one bites dust. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Damn. Gotta find more arrows. Cool. Now I gotta find out where. Oh, there's my comrades. On the other side of the wall. Uh. Yeah. Hang in there, guys. At least the Reaper doesn't show up. <laughs> that would make this boss even more annoying. All right, let him come to me. Fire one. Nope, that didn't work. It is where they silver plated arrows. <laughs> if you hit a werewolf with a silver plated arrow, mm -hmm. would he only be mostly dead? Possibly. Maybe that's the way you cure them, because like it wounds only... them and then you can cure them without killing them. Because hmm. wasn't that the thing about um, Van Helsing? They were trying to cure her brother without killing him? Because they were trying to find a cure. Yeah. And like the hypocrisy was when Van Helsing himself became the werewolf. Yeah. They were just like, oh, so someone's gonna shoot you. And he's just like, no, no, we'll, we'll, we'll find <laughs> we'll a cure. We'll find a cure. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. There we go. Silver arrows. The little dead kid's like, May your aim be true. Uh-oh. I'm losing companions. Everyone's dropping like flies. Hang in there, folks. I'm coming. Smile, you son of a... Ha-ha! <laughs> there we go. Like, how many times do you have to hit him, though? See his health meter up in the right-hand corner? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what I got to do. Until that thing's empty, I got to keep doing this. And there's no second phase. There's no change. It's just okay. It's just this. Yeah, I feel like it needs something to, like, cut the monotony of it. Mm-hmm. I like the design. Oh, yeah. 
And like, I think the concept. I even really love the idea of like how he kind of like runs away. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, there's got to be something better than just like chasing him around like this. Well, what I, what's supposed to happen is like everyone's supposed to gang up on him. But for some reason, like everyone's too far away. So it's just Zael whacking at him. Whereas if everyone's hitting them, it's chain attacks and you do double damage. Okay. So I don't know if like my partner's AI just isn't working or, or what the issue is, but yeah, it's usually just Zale getting in a few whacks. He runs away, yeah. comes invulnerable, rinse and repeat. Yeah. Because that's what's going to happen here. See him dazed. He's invulnerable again. And now he's invulnerable. Ouch. Ah, screw it. Let's just take the shot. Take the shot! I feel like for a little bit, you should chase him. And then at a certain point, he just gets more aggressive. Yeah. And you have to stay in one room. Yeah. Preferably this room because it's nice and spacious. I feel like even if you had the ability to close the door, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That'd be neat. It's like trap him in a room, close a door. Maybe you do have that, and I just wasn't aware. Maybe. Because that would have been neat. There we go. We found his greatest treasure. What if she was a vampire? And just went, ah. <laughs> I just can't leave things happy. No, you can't. Complain that the game's too miserable, and now you're just like, it's too happy. <laughs> no, no, because I, I like that it's like, oh, I lost my greatest treasure, and then like to come to find out, like, oh, it was his wife. Mm -hmm. To me, that's very sweet. That's cute. I like that. Like, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, But then I just always tend to twist it at the end. Like, <laughs> what if she just killed him right now? To, what like, a twist. Like, ripped his throat out. Like... <laughs> I like how they're like, we defeated the vampire. All is well, and the ghosts are like, we're still here. They're like, did you set us free, please? No. Free our spirits. Okay. And we'll never know. Is that a butt? Resting in peace. Oh, okay. The... I was just like, yes, it was just an it is ass. Because like... he's sitting on the banister. was surrounded by weird rumors. But now. Now it's just it's gonna be run by little ghost children. Yeah, it'll be an orphanage. Oh uh, no! Okay, they just vanished. Okay. Like... I don't think anything strange will happen here. We did it! Yay! So there we go. Boss aside, that was one of my favorite chapters yeah. of the game. I think I I tend to really like any of the haunted chapters. I always think that they're fun. Yeah. All right, so we have a couple other side quests we can accomplish before we uh, can talk to the Count. Or we can talk to the Count right now and progress the story. Okay. So, because I like some of these chapters coming up and there's a lot of cool, interesting yeah. bosses. Plus, I feel like it's developing characters. Exactly. So we're going to do some more of these side stories. We'll see you all in the next episode.